Hello and welcome to Learn Data. It's great to have you on this channel. I'm Nilesh, and in this video, we are going to look at element wise uh, how we can calculate gradients. We'll look at how we can use if and while loops while uh, within the recording step of the uh, when we are working with gradient tape. So let's get into Colab and start coding. Here I've already imported three libraries. So including matplotlib because we'll need that to create a plot. So the first item that we'll look at is element-wise calculations of gradient. So element element-wise calculation of gradient. And for this, the input elements that we'll have input elements. They are going to be independent of each other. So each element is independent. And we create this by x is equal to tf dot linear space. And here we go from minus 5.0 to 5.0. And we have 200 data points, 201 data points. And point to note here is that here we are getting equally spaced points equally spaced points now when we perform the recording the same step that we already know by now with tf dot gradient tape as and then we have as tape here we can then have tape dot watch and we are watching x and then we have y is equal to tf dot nn that's for neural network sigmoid function and we input the value of x once we have that we can then calculate the gradient which is grad y with respect to x is equal to tape dot gradient and here we have y with respect to x and we can print it y underscore oh better not print it because it's going to be a, a big uh, value lots of values we have 200 data points we can at least uh, look at the shapes so the grad underscore y underscore x so when we run this we have this 201 uh, shape for particular uh, rank zero tensor so now with that what we'll do next is we'll create plot so plt dot plot x comma y label this as y so that's our first plot which is this one uh, values of x on the x-axis and we can add another plot on this plt dot plot x comma grad y underscore x and this is can be labeled as label this as dy by dx or simply dy by dx let's do that and then we can plot legends so we have those in there and a label for the axis is equal to plt dot x label and we have the x there so as you can see we have this value of y as it changes with x and then we have the gradients calculated for this particular line so this shows the slopes at different points along the blue line now let's look at how we can use if and while loops within the uh, while the tape is being recorded so control flow so we can control the flow recording if and while so first let's look at ifs how we can use if and for this what we'll do is we'll create a tensor and two variables so the first one is a tensor x is equal to tf dot constant and here we have 1.0 value 
and then we'll create two variables variable so v0 is the first one we have tf dot variable and we assign a value of 2.0 and then the second one is v1 is equal to tf dot variable and again assign it a value of 2.0 and moving on then our next step as you probably already guessed uh, we need to record so we create with dot tf dot gradient tape and we can specify persistent is equal to true as tape and then we watch the variable we watch the tensor x and here we can specify the if statement if the value in x is greater than 0, 0.0 then do this which is y is equal to v0 else uh, what we want y to take on the value of v1 squared with this then we are now set with the tape now we'll calculate the gradients so to calculate the gradient we can specify grad y with respect to v0 and the next one is grad y with respect to v1 is equal to tape dot gradient y and here we can specify v0 and v1 so that gets us the gradient we can now print it so print uh, grad underscore y with respect to v0 and then we can specify grad underscore y underscore v0 there and then the next one is for v1 i'm just going to copy this paste it here we have one and we have one here so now when we run this we see that because the value of x is one it is greater than 0, 0.0 and therefore y is assigned the value of v0 and so in the tape v0 and y are connected and therefore when we calculate the gradient down here values of gradient with of y with respect to v0 we get an output which is 1 however the v1 we do not get any output we get none and that's because this loop was never this part of the statement was never executed because the first one first condition was true and so that's the case so v1 did not get recorded on the tape v0 did and therefore for v1 we have none as an output now let's look at how we can use the while loop so i'm going to before we do that i just want to show another case where if we try to calculate the gradient so if we try to calculate the gradient with respect to uh, x a gradient with respect to x tape dot gradient and here we specify y and we specify x we look at gradient y with respect to x now let's think about this here we have v0 connected to y we have v1 connected to y however we never had x directly connected to y we are using x in the conditional statement but not while calculating the y itself and so therefore this particular value of x is not being recorded on the tape and so when we calculate the gradient of x or gradient of y with respect to x we should get a none and that's what we have so if we print this we should see the string none printed out as we can see here so that's something to keep in mind when using the loops uh, sorry the conditional statements now let's look at how we can use while so let's label this control flow and here we are using while uh, copy pasted the code from up above so here 
only changes we are going to do is in this block the first what we'll do is we'll remove the if and put a while there and just to make this work we need to uh, change the value of x i'm going to decrement it by one now there are a couple of couple of things that will happen in the very first iteration we'll have this loop that is executed in the second iteration this loop this part of the loop will get executed and so when we are looking at the gradients we need to look at both of them and so what i'll do is i'll label this as one and y1 and y2 so this would be y1 all the way through and then copy this line paste it here and change this to y2 so we are looking at the else part of y and now for the print output i'm going to copy this these two lines paste them here and then call this as y1 and then call this as y2 as we can see here now when we run this we see that as expected in the first case we have the values for y1 v0 which is this and we have value of 1 however the values with respect to v1 are not there because that was not on the tape associated so v1 is not associated with y1 only v0 is and similarly in the second case only y v1 is associated with y2 and not v0 and so therefore we have value for this part whereas uh, the gradient of y2 with respect to v0 is none as we can see so that was it for this video i hope in this video you got an understanding of uh, about how to perform element wise calculations of gradient and how how we can use if statement and while statements while recording the operations uh, during the tf dot gradient tape uh, recording process and then use that tape to selectively calculate gradients for the uh, y1 or y2 as we have seen here if you have any comments or suggestions please let me know in the comment section below i hope to see you all in the next video until then please like share and subscribe thank you